Welcome to Japan. Okay, this is not Japan, but today we are going to Japan. And everybody, boy, you better get that out of here on three. One, two, three. Boy, you better get that out of here. All you have to do today is click the subscribe button. Just do it now. Go, go, go. It'll really help out the channel and it'll make me feel better about myself. And yeah, comment down below if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Would you go to Japan? Or would you go to Australia? Or would you go to your mom's house? Let me know. And let's go. Haunted Japan. Oiwa Shrine in Kyoto. Hidden in plain sight in the city on a small mountain, you can find a shrine that now lies abandoned. Even on a hot summer day, I immediately got goosebumps when I entered the bamboo forest. As you walk along the trail, you will eventually come across another torii, and once you take a closer look, you'll see that a lot of the structures here are falling apart. A couple of the torii have a unique design. They were donated by an artist named Insho Domoto, who was born in 1891. He donated the two torii gates for the sake of his mother, who was ill. At its prime, Oiwa Shrine was known as a place to pray for the cure of diseases like tuberculosis. Although the shrine's original documents were destroyed in a forest fire a few hundred years ago, making lots of its history unknown, we do know that there are two gods enshrined here, Oiwa and Kouiwa large and small stones. In recent years, the shrine no longer has a Shinto priest to care for it, and the locals do what they can, but sadly not every shrine can be saved. Dang, that is cool that there's these ancient ruins and shrines in Japan, but soon as it's nighttime, it's gonna be scary, baby. You see that statue? That statue's gonna come to life. Mm -mm, I can't be up in there. Word on the street is if black people go to Japan, people over there think we're basketball players. <laughs> I'm like, dang, man. I'm not even like super tall, but still they think I'm in the NBA, National Black Association. Um, hello? <gasps> Watch your back. Girl, look behind you. <gasps> oh. oh, no! She left her friend and dipped? Are you serious? I'm not gonna lie, I would do the same thing. If I see it that late, sorry girl, I can't help you, I'm, I'm gone. What is that? Are you serious? Are you wearing a Halloween mask or do you just look like that? There's demons over there in Japan, you gotta be careful. There's demons over here in America, but you know. Why didn't the person holding the camera warn this girl that, uh, hey, there's a ghost behind you? You could have said anything, you could have said, hey girl, turn around or say, uh, or anything, give me a signal. This girl has no idea, man. She had no idea that today was her last day. I feel kind of bad, but you know, um, <clears throat> you, you'll be all right. Actually, she won't be all right because that thing probably took her out. Anyway. Here are three real ways to survive encountering Teke Teke. According to Japanese mythology, Teke Teke is the spirit of a young girl who lost her legs having been struck by a train many years ago. Ugh. Unable to move on from this tragedy, she now wanders Japan with a scythe in hand, looking to cut off the legs of everyone she comes across in search of a new pair for herself. The first thing you'll need to remember, if you're unlucky enough to encounter this entity, is to try and escape to higher ground. Teke Teke's upper body strength is quite impressive, having pulled herself across the country of Japan. However, she's still just half a person, so pulling yourself into a tree or on top of a mint-sized wall could be enough to ensure your survival. Mm. Secondly, if you do have a run-in with Teke Teke, don't underestimate her speed. Despite her size, Teke Teke possesses a superhuman strength, allowing her to travel up to 40 miles per hour over short distances. In other words, you can't outrun her. Don't try. Finally, if you're going to survive Teke Teke, you'll need to know how to answer her questions correctly. According to legend, Teke Teke will occasionally ask her victim if they need their legs, yes. to which they must reply, yes. I need them right now. Following this, she will ask them, who told you my story, to which her victim must reply, Kashima Raiko. If her questions are answered correctly, she will disappear. No! 
You're telling me Teke Teke just goes around with no legs and crawls with her arms, with, with her hands? Oh no. You think she could follow me if I like go up the stairs? I'm talking like five flights of stairs. Is she gonna follow me all the way over there? Or if I'm walking down the street and there's some kids playing double dutch, playing jump rope, and then I jump inside with the jump rope. Teke Teke can't jump rope. I'm safe, I'm good. Just jump inside the, you know, the jump rope double dutch and then Teke Teke can't get you. Or is she gonna cut the rope with her scythe? Why are you so angry, Teke Teke? I did nothing to you. It's not my fault. Jeez. Even if I put on a great performance and outrun Teke Teke, she can't even give me a standing ovation. But you know what? I'm gonna be the bigger man and I'm gonna walk away. Walk away. Yeah, I said it. All right. <gasps> if you hear laughing coming out of a closet, don't go in it. Throw a grenade in there. Oh my gosh. That's a creepy closet. Just don't don't do it. Don't do it. Oh no! Oh! closet girl get out that is terrifying have you been living in there you owe me like three thousand dollars in rent living in my closet using up all my electricity girl mm -mm, not today how dare you you should have asked me for permission this girl looks hungry looking like she wants to ask me if i got any leftover chicken nuggets i don't did you hear about the evil spirit that was just released in japan so legend has it that this rock contained the evil spirit of this beautiful woman a thousand years ago who was contacted by a warlord to kill the emperor her true form, however, was that of a nine-tailed fox seen here, and her spirit was supposed to be trapped inside of this thousand-year-old piece of lava. That, however, was until this weekend when a hiker noticed that the piece of lava actually had split in half, sending many people in Japan into a total tailspin. So what do you think? Has an evil spirit been unleashed onto the world? I guess we'll find out in the next coming weeks. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure evil spirit has been uh, released into the world. And girl, why is your shirt so open? Like, like, dang, is there anything in the, anything blocking right here? Button it up. You gotta button that all the way uh, to the top. This is a family channel, okay? This is family learning education channel. And she's over here smiling with her clothes off. Like, girl, get a bone at it. That's a big bow and arrow, by the way, my boy. I mean, dang. Who are you trying to take out a dragon? Dang. Well, yeah, probably, probably trying to take out a dragon. Or take out the nine-tailed fox. Disturbing before and after pictures of this mysteriously abandoned theme park in Japan. Okay, before, oh. oh. Okay, that's a little, that's scary. That's a little scary. Okay. <gasps> after. What happened? No! Ah, girl. That's sad. Those rides look kind of fun. Okay, okay, that does not look fun. You've got an evil witch right there at the top of the tunnel. And then that demon goat thing to the right. Mm -mm, no. No wonder y'all got abandoned. I mean, geez, you got, that, that's hideous. It's terrifying. That's scary, man. I don't want to deal with that. Not today. Are you trying to give me nightmares? You want me to not sleep at night? Who's going to clean all this up, man? You got all these uh, trees and grass growing over the teacup. Call the janitor, okay? Call a janitor, call a cleaning crew to clean this up. Can I show you a weird video? Yes. This one is so strange, it's creepy. Um, so this is like a found footage sort of video. Basically, someone bought this video from a flea market, so the location is unknown. So basically, this couple is walking through the forest when suddenly something interrupts their filming. Um, so trigger warning, a face is going to pop up. Uh, here's the video. Oh, this is definitely in Japan. Um, uh-oh. Okay, get ready. What is it? Oh, no! Don't look at it in the eye. Apparently, it was a ghost interject- Wait, what? Girl, what are you, what are you doing? 
doing? What is this? What are you doing? Why are you so close to the camera? I'm sorry, but you are scarier than this girl. I mean, gosh dang. If this pops up on your TV, it's time to unplug it and get a new one. You know good and well this girl's gonna try to find you and she gonna try to take you out on a date, yeah. Okay, not on a date. The woman. You just gonna David Blaine disappear like that? At the laundromat? Bars, that rhymed. She's gone. How did you just disappear? Look at, oh no. Bro, did you not notice that that girl is a ghost and she just disappeared right in front of your very face? What a shame, I thought you guys were a couple. But uh, this is this girl's way of saying that she wants a divorce. I mean, she just disappeared and dipped. It's okay, man, next time. Let me explain the story behind one of the most disturbing comics ever made. A Junji Ito story called The Enigma of Amigara Falls. One day, a mysterious earthquake happens in Amigara Mountain in Japan, splitting the mountain in two and revealing holes on the side of the mountain. But this isn't just ordinary holes left by any earthquake. These holes are shaped like people. And all across Japan, people start experiencing something very strange. People start falling into a trance and feeling like they need to come see for themselves. Because somewhere on this mountain is a hole shaped exactly like you. Almost as if it was made specifically for you. And once you find it, there's nothing that can stop you from trying to go into that hole. As if there's something hypnotic, something pulling people towards these holes, making them search all over the mountain to try to find that one hole that's shaped perfectly for them. So people start disappearing by the masses, because they can't stop themselves from going into these human-shaped holes on the mountain. And the holes are also too specifically shaped for any rescue team to follow them, so what? they just vanish. But of course, that's not all. A while later, a group of climbers find the other side of the holes, but they're not human-shaped anymore. They're these twisted spiral lines that are bent and grotesque. And as the climbers look inside, they see something coming towards them. A strange creature is trying to squeeze through. It's bent and stretched and it's coming closer and closer. But it seems to have glowing white eyes and human teeth. What? If you go to a mountain and you see a hole that's shaped like a human, don't do it. Go home, okay? Don't go to the mountain. I'm gonna stay in the bathroom, okay? I'm gonna stay in the bathroom. See, there's no nothing bad happens in the bathroom except diarrhea. Happened to me last night. Uh, I mean, it happened to uh, somebody that I, that I know last night, so. Wasn't me, though. Anyway. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.